hapon po sa inyong lahat mga kawerta. Welcome po sa ating pong uh, free no? uh, live RE and RNE mentoring. So today is June 28. No? So live po tayo ngayong araw, no? June 28, 2022. So meron po tayong mga ilang katanungan na sasagutin ng ating mga kawerta. So magandang araw po sa ating mga viewers muna sa ating pong uh, Nasa Zoom class natin, ano? Ilan ba yung connected sa ating Zoom class partner? Okay, so may mga ano tayo. Salamat po. At yung ating pong mga viewers sa Facebook Live po natin. So, magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Okay, sige. Hindi na po tayo uh, magpapatagal, ano? So, sagutan na po natin, ano? Yung ating mga katanungan pinagdala po sa atin. Okay, we have a question sent by Mr. Simon Pati Ranario. Is he connected, partner? Okay, uh, Simon, uh, tama ba? Oh, si Simon connected. Hello, Simon. Mr. Ranario, magandang araw sa'yo. Naririnig mo ba ako? Rinig ba tayo? Ayun, sige, magandang araw. Pinadala mo itong tanong na to, no? Thumbs up lang para may confirmation tayo, no? Para sa tanong na ito. So this is a uh, past RNE board question, ano? So actually magsasagot tayo ng mga tanong uh, related sa RNE, no? Registered Master Electrician and Registered Electrical Engineer Board examination questions. Okay? Uh, sige. So i-full screen muna natin. Ito po ang kanyang uh, katanungan. A general purpose single phase motor rated 0.5 horsepower has a current rating of 5 amperes. What is the setting of the overload relay that is installed to protect the motor? Assume the service factor of the motor to be 1.0. No? So actually madali naman kung sabihin agad yung sagot ano. So the difference of our uh, mentoring program is that we we discuss in a very detailed manner ano as much as possible no hangga't meron tayong luxury ng time no tuloy-tuloy tayo no tuloy-tuloy uh, lang po namin sasagutan ito no uh, the detail as we can ano the most detail as we can kasi madali naman namin sabihin no ang sagot letter B ganun ano so madali lang eh ba so um, ang advantage po ng ating mentoring program is that uh, magsasagot po tayo ng uh, uh, the detail, no? that we can, the most detailed answer as we can, no? or explanation, the most detailed explanation as we can. Okay, so our uh, given here is 0.5 horsepower motor as a current rating of 5 amperes. So yan po ang kuryente natin, no? Ang tinatanong, ano daw yung size ng overload relay? So let us consider, we have an overload relay. Let's say this is our overload relay. Then we have our motor here. So yan po. Actually, ito po yung isa size natin. Overload relay. Kung tawagin ng iba is... POR. No? So, what is POR? Last break of record. So, thermal overload relay. Okay? So, thermal. No? Naririnig ba ako ni Simon? Hello, Simon. Are you listening there? Okay, sige. Ikinig siya. So, isa size daw natin ito, yung overload relay natin. That is the question. And uh, we will answer based on the Philippine Electrical Code, no? based on the PEC. Actually, the topic about overload relay is found in the PEC Chapter 4. No? Nasa Chapter 4 po yan. Kumuha lang po kami ng portion para masagutan, masagutan natin itong passport RME problem natin. Ano? Okay, according to Philippine Electrical Code, no? so at Article 4.30.3.2, about the continuous duty motors no 
So meron po tayong tinatawag na uh, overload device, no? Yung overload device, yun yung ating overload relay dito. This is how we are going to uh, size the overload relay. Motors with a mark service factor of 1.15 or greater is 125%. Muna-muna, Kuya Reg, ano ba ang tawag sa service factor? Okay, sige, discuss natin yung service factor. Ano ba yung service factor? Ang service factor po, no? Uh, in a shorter meaning, in its shortest meaning, it is what we call the overload capacity. Capacity. Ang service factor natin, or simply SF, no? ang SF natin is uh, greater than or equal to 1.00 or 1. No? So meaning, wala kung service factor na less than 1. No? The minimum is 1 or greater than 1. For example, you have a service factor of 1.15. Uh, Bawa lang, kung meron kang 1.15 sa motor mo, ano na ibig sabihin ng 1.15 na yan? Let's say your, example, your horsepower of your motor is 100 horsepower. No? Okay, then ito yung motor natin. Na to. Let's say ito yung mechanical load natin. Ang kaya niyang ibigay doon sa load mo is 100 horsepower. Yun yung lakas na kaya niyang ibigay, yung power output. No? Ika nga. Pero pwede pang may pasobra dyan. May allowance dyan. So, what is that? So, kung baga pwede mong sabihin na uh, maximum power output or horsepower maximum natin, pwede mong sabihin ganun. So, 100 times 1.15. So, it is 100 15 horsepower. So, yung point 15 na yun, yun yung pasobra natin. Meron kang extra lakas, ika nga. No? 15 horsepower. No? May pasobra ka, may allowance ka. May allowance. No? Overload capacity yan. Service factor is also known as the overload capacity. Now, ang given dito sa problem na pinadala mo is ang service factor natin ay 1.0 lang. Sakto siya sa 1. No? Ibig sabihin kung ano yung rating niya. No? So ang rating niya dito is uh, 0.5 horsepower. No? Hindi mo na kailangan i-multiply pa yan. Ano? Kasi pag multiply mo na sa 1, yun din naman yung 0.5 horsepower. Okay? Yun din yun. Okay, based on the PEC, dapat alam ito ng mga mag-board exam. No? Not only RNE nga pala, no? possible din ito lumabas. Kasi sa RTE, lumalabas din po ito. So, Merong note dito, no? Motors with a marked service factor, 1.15 or greater. Pwede na, pwede tayong mag-note, ano? If, sabihin natin, if the service factor is greater than or equal to 1.15. No? Okay? So, the multiplier is 1.25 or 125% or simply 1.25 na uh, full load current ng motor natin. No? So, yun yung ating full load current or full load amperes natin sa motor natin. Ano? Full load current. No? So, sabihin natin, 1.25 ng full load ang pips. Yan. So, meron din dito, motors with a marked temperature rise of 40 degrees Celsius no? or less. No? Kung meron siyang uh, temperature rise na 40 degrees Celsius or less, no? yung pagtaas ng temperature niya. No? Actually, uh, ang motor natin, no? naka-standard siya sa 40 degrees Celsius. Ito, 40 degrees Celsius. The temperature rise is another, for that case, for temperature rise of 40 degrees Celsius. There is another 40 degrees Celsius here. Kaya all in all, ito, mula rito sa 0 degrees Celsius niya, in reference mo, so meron pa siyempre 80 degrees Celsius. So you have your 80 degrees Celsius. 
So ganun po 'yan, no? So Forty degrees Celsius, yun yung kanyang temperature rise dito. No? Kasi pag sinabi niya temperature rise, that is your change in temperature which is temperature 2 minus temperature 1. So we have temperature 2 which is 80, yun yung final temperature mo. So 80 degrees Celsius minus temperature 1, yun yung temperature 1 mo. And your 80 is your temperature 2. No, your final temperature and your 40 degrees Celsius is your, is your initial temperature. So we have here 40, of course, 40 degrees Celsius ang ating temperature rise. Maximum po yan, 40, pwedeng 30 lang, pwedeng 20. Ito kasi temperature rise lang naman to eh. Ito yung tinatawag na temperature rise. Ito po yun. Yan, yung delta P. Ano po? So ayan po siya. So, kung ang temperature rise natin is uh, 40 degrees Celsius. Lagyan natin, if the temperature rise is uh, less than, pwede mong sabihin less than or equal to 40 degrees Celsius, the overload capacity. Lagyan huh? natin dito, overload relay capacity. Okay. Huh? Uh, ano ang multiplier natin? Also, 1.25 din. Times the full load current ng motor mo or full load ampere niya no, ng motor mo. Okay? Then, all other motors, no? Hindi natin, others, ang multiplier natin is 1.15 times the full load ampere. Ibig sabihin, kung hindi siya nabababilang dito. No? Okay? So halimbawa, yung temperature rise mo, naging 15 degrees Celsius. So wala siya dito. Ang magiging multiplier natin will be 1.15. So ganun po. No? Ayan. Okay. Sige. So sagutan na natin itong question na pinandala mo. No? Again, you have the uh, current rating. So yung current rating mo, ito, no? 5 ampere. So, 5 ampere. The current rating is uh, 5 ampere. Let's say, full load ampere natin. No? 5 ampere. No? So, that is your uh, 5 ampere. No? So, ang ating service factor is simply 1. No? 1.0. So, again, sabi natin, Kung equal siya sa 1.15 or greater, no? balikan natin na yung PEC. Yan. Motors with a mark service factor 1.15 or greater. Ibig sabihin, kung 1.15 or greater siya, no? ang size ng overload relay mo, 1.25. Diba? 1.25. Kaya lang, hindi naman... 1.15 yung ating service factor. Ang given na service factor natin dito, simply 1.00 lang. Kaya dito na siya sa others. Diba ganun? So ang multiplier natin will be 1.15 times the full load ampere multiplied by 5. That is our answer. So save our calculator, 1.15 times 5. Five point seventy five is our answer. Five point seventy five after. Yan yung setting ng ating overload relay. No? Yan po yung setting niya. Setting po ng overload relay. Five point seventy five. So that will be letter. Ayon. Letter A. Five point seventy five. Dito ang uh, sagot sa past RNT board question on Mister Ranari. 
Okay, so naiintindihan ba ako ni Mr. Anario? Okay, pakita natin siya sa ano, sa Facebook Live partner para masabi naman eh, may audience tayo dito. Ayun, so for confirmation lang Mr. Anario, so naiintindihan ba? That is our answer. Okay, thank you. Salamat po.